The RAF's fast jet training team has been in Cyprus for the last week, making the most of the flying conditions on the island. 208 Reserve Squadron have sent a detachment of students and instructors from RAF Valley to Akrotiri to develop their skills. Carla Prater has been there to see their Hawk jets in action. Leaving the Welsh countryside behind for 10 days of training in the Cyprus sun. 208 Reserve Squadron from Aria Valley are on exercise vigilant sphinx and their Hawk jets are in constant use. The squadron is responsible for training the fast jet pilots of the future. They've brought eight jets with them, two students, four instructors and more than a dozen aircrew flying 20 flights a day. We're at home, we could potentially get some bad weather days and not fly for a couple of days or a month. Uh, out here, we're doing uh, 20 sorties a day, um, which gets good continuity for the students. So it's good weather. Also, it's quite good for training on different areas and the flight planning aspects of coming out overseas. Pilots pass through the squadron each year for their advanced flying training. They arrive fresh off the Takano and leave at the end ready to fly the Typhoon or Tornado. Flight Lieutenant Stuart Roberts has been with the squadron since January. He's currently going through the tactics and weapons part of the course. Today is his first solo defence flight. I've been in the Air Force for about five years now, so uh, it's been a fairly long slog. But we started off, I did uh, EFT at RF Cranwell and then moved on to uh, the Takano at Linton. And then yeah, we started at Valley at the um, beginning of this year. That's learning to fly the jet, and now we're starting to learn to fight it. So we've done uh, four air defence trips so far, where you all with an instructor sat in the back seat, where they're teaching you um, the basics of it. And uh, now's my first opportunity to go and try it by myself. So yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get shot down a lot, but hey, it's all good experience. Before and after every sortie, there's the obligatory briefing, giving feedback and telling the students whether they pass or fail. It's an intense and stressful time. Oh, I think they're doing really well. It's quite difficult. They would normally operate and carry out this phase in Wales and up to this date, that's where they've operated. So they've come somewhere strange and transitioned quite well to a new environment and different temperatures and everything makes a difference. So if it was easy, everybody would do it. Um, so yes, we, all the instructors are pretty well aware of their, their own personal memories of success and failure and the rewards at the end, are, in my view, are well worth it. The squadron sees many personnel come and go, training and refreshing their skills. Soon the pilots joining the Red Arrows next year will be at Bali to practice. There's a complete mix of experience and a high turnover. But those that have managed to come to Cyprus have certainly seen the benefits, enjoying the conditions and clocking up those flying hours while they can. Carla Prater, Forces News at RAF Akrotiri in Cyprus.